why does the Swedish Institute want to work with the Middle East or the MENA region? Basically, um, it's attached to the communication part that uh, I think we lack a lot of, of information and understanding about how people actually live, behave, act in their countries due to the his their history, due to their background, due to their experiences. And it's, it's for us to acquire a lot more knowledge about how, how we how we can communicate together and uh, we see that it's uh, it's something that is extremely important because we have also in the globalized world there's a lot of migration between countries we have to be aware of who are these people coming to Sweden what are they bringing with them how can we incorporate them even better in our societies around the world um, and that goes also for Swedish people maybe wanting to go to MENA regions to be active there, to run enterprises there, to be a uh, active in the, their culture life. How can they sort of adapt to the situations in these countries, to their, their values with a respect, but at the same time with an ambition to be able to... to introduce our thoughts about what is Swedish values. I think that's one of the biggest points that we have to present what are Swedish priorities, Swedish values, Swedish views, and what are the views in these countries and how can we meet, how can we discuss it and not creating conflicts, but to creating a, a bigger understanding among people. And this is a young generation uh, from the MENA region meeting and uh, allowing us to communicate, allowing them to communicate. And communication has been a strong fact in Sweden for many, many, many de decades. Uh, we see that Sweden has been able to avoid wars for our own country for 200 years. And uh, this is something that we hopefully think that is a vital part of uh, communication. Um, and um, we can also see that for 30 years ago, Sweden abolished the, well, they introduced a law prohibiting corporal punishment to any kind of per person or in between parents and their children. And uh, that's also kind of a focusing on that you solve conflicts by, through communication and not through punishment or threats or whatever. And I hope that... Uh, this meetings can introduce some ideas about trying to solve a lot of issues through communication, through understanding, and um, just being able to meet together, discuss difficult issues sometimes, but um, be able to create a, an increase in understanding among, among people.